What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I have a really exciting recipe for you guys. We're going to be making some Dominican spaghetti with salami and yes, you heard that right. We're going to be making one of my all-time favorite dishes. Now, you might be wondering, Z, what's the difference between Dominican spaghetti and regular spaghetti. And I'm gonna tell you right now that the secret is in the sauce. The sauce is a little creamy, a little salty, and it's just everything great, especially when you pair it with salami. Now, spoiler alert, I do have a regular Dominican spaghetti video here on my channel, so be sure and check it out if you want a meatless version of this dish. Now, I do hope you're hungry, so let's go ahead and get started. Making Dominican spaghetti is super easy, and I love that this dish is fairly inexpensive and it comes together in no time. There's definitely more than one way of making this dish, and I'll walk you through all of the variations. So we're going to start off by boiling our pasta. So we want to add some water to a large pot, and then we're going to generously, and I mean generously, salt it because this is going to help flavor our pasta and this is actually going to help flavor our sauce later on. So now we wanna take our spaghetti pasta and we wanna add it into the pot. And you may have to nudge it just like I did right here just to make sure that it all fits. And don't worry if it doesn't, you just wanna take a spoon and nudge it in there. And as the pasta warms up, it's going to become more and more flexible. So it'll definitely fit into the pot. You just wanna make sure that you're using something that's big enough. And after a few minutes, just right before your pasta is ready and it's al dente, we want to go ahead and we want to remove about one cup of the starchy water because like I mentioned before, this is going to help flavor your Dominican spaghetti. Now I cooked my pasta al dente and you want to look on the packaging of your spaghetti to see just how long that's going to be. We're now going to make the sauce and you want to add just a tiny bit of oil along with your salami. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to brown the salami for a few minutes and you want to make sure to stir every couple of minutes now in total i'll say that i browned my salami for about five minutes and part of the reason that you only want to use a tiny bit of oil is because as the salami browns it's actually going to release its own oils so you want to add just a tiny bit so that you don't end up with the sauce that's oily and greasy at the end we're now going to add our freshly diced onions along with some peppers. Now, anytime I'm making spaghetti con salami, I always like to infuse some different colors. So you'll notice that I use some green peppers and red peppers, and honestly, anything you have on hand is fine. I also went ahead and I added some fresh garlic, and I'm gonna mix that all together and let it saute for about two minutes. And now I'm going to add some seasoning. So I added some chicken bouillon cube, but adobo is totally fine along with sazon, some Dominican oregano for that classic Dominican flavor, and we're gonna mix this all together until it's well combined. Now you're going to notice that this dish is already starting to come alive with all of those vibrant flavors, and it's definitely going to smell delicious as well. So once you saute that for an additional two minutes, we're gonna go ahead and now we're going to add the sauce. So now I'm going to add some tomato paste, and you want to make sure to just work it into the salami using the back of a spatula or spoon. Now, as you'll notice, the paste doesn't really blend into the salami all that well, but that's totally fine because now we're going to add some tomato sauce and that's definitely going to help break up the tomato paste. Now, I'm gonna let you know right now that one of the things that sets my Dominican spaghetti apart from all of the other recipes is that I actually like to make my Dominican spaghetti super saucy. So it's up to you, you can use tomato paste or tomato sauce, or you can be like me and use both. We're now going to take that starchy water and we're going to add it into our salami and you're going to notice this is going to further help that sauce come together. 
you want to mix it ever so gently until everything is well combined and now we're going to add one of my favorite ingredients which is the evaporated milk now I like to add just a tiny bit at a time and I added about a quarter of a cup and now I'm going to mix that in now the evaporated milk is going to make this Dominican spaghetti ever so creamy and truly delicious. Now this is optional but I definitely recommend not skipping this step. And you can go ahead and add more starchy water if you feel like your sauce needs it. And it's up to you. You can make your sauce as thick or as runny as you like. I like mine somewhere in the middle. We're now going to go ahead and we're going to add some olives into the mix just to round it all out. And you can definitely add cilantro if you want to. I personally don't like cilantro in my Dominican spaghetti, but it can still taste amazing if that's what you want to do. We're now going to go ahead and we're going to add our cooked spaghetti into this yummy sauce. And you want to be really gentle whenever you are adding in the spaghetti because if you manhandle it too much you actually run the risk of breaking up the noodles now bear in mind that you can use whatever kind of pasta that you want so if you want you can definitely use the flat noodles instead and after you've added the spaghetti into the sauce let it sit for about two minutes just so that the pasta truly soaks up that yummy salami sauce so there you guys have it. That's my recipe for Dominican style spaghetti with salami. And one of my favorite ways of having it is with some tostones on the side. Now I have to know, comment below if you are team Dominican spaghetti at the beach or not. As you can guess, I love having this at the beach. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Now do know that that little bit of evaporated milk seriously takes this sauce to the next level and yes it's optional but if you've never tried it trust me it's going to be a game changer now like always come back next week when i have an all new video i'm going to dig in because your girl is starving and let's hope i don't make a mess Mm-hmm.